Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. How's your feeling today? Hope you all happy in this pandemic session. Mm, okay, firstly, let me introduce myself. My name is Anna. I'm a student at Biology Education Department at the Education and Teacher Training Faculty in Sebelas Smart University. Now, I want you to take a look at this picture. What do you think about it? Mm, yes, it might get worse as time passes. So guys, if someday the earth is going bad, what will you do? Yes, we will regret and we just say sorry for not treat well for earth. Mm, so better now we save the earth before we repeat. Do you agree? Uh, today, I'll talk to you about the crucial problem in this art. Uh, this topic caused flooding, many animals and plants become extinct and make diseases due to bad habit in the environment. That's about what. Uh, I stand in here, I choose this topic because uh, before this, I have been searching, I have been browsing, and I even choose this topic uh, because my time in my essay. So, yeah, uh, I can say that I'm curious with this topic. If you feel the same thing, uh, I think we can discuss more uh, about this topic in the comment below, or you can call me then. Then, this speech focus on how biotechnology help us in the waste management. So, keep your focus on next 10 minutes. Um, my presentation will be in two parts. Firstly, uh, I will show you about the urgency, the condition was was problem in this world, commonly and especially in Indonesia. Uh, second part, I will talk about the meaning of biotechnology and the role biotechnology plays in waste management. Um, so guys, uh, I'm sure every day we throw rubbish in there, over there, over there, and we don't think enough for the effect to the bad habit. We usually think, mm, I just throw one rubbish and it's not, it will not give effect for us. Uh, I just throw one rubbish and it will be degraded by soil. But how if everybody in this world, uh, all people in the world, think the same thing? Uh, one by one rubbish will be built up. Low public awareness about waste management creates problem for their own environment. People still throw garbage everywhere, such as in the river. Uh, in the road sites and it creates a slum environment and cause various diseases. Um, people do not understand about the separation of organic and unorganic waste and garbage that is still mixed. Uh, it's difficult for the cause decomposer to decompose the waste. So the community need to better education uh, in separating was. I'll give you an example again. Uh, from the was built up that are not properly treated can produce methane gas which plays a role in increasing greenhouse gas emission. Um, according to the environmental defense fund, uh, methane gas has a potential to damage the atmosphere 84 times more than carbon dioxide. Based on data from the Research and Development Agency of the Ministry of Home Affairs Indonesia in 2018, 24% of was in Indonesia is still unmanaged. Meanwhile, it was said that Indonesia was producing around 65 million tons of was per day. Wow. In other words, there are around 15 million tons of unmanaged waste that pollutes the environment. Uh, and from manageable waste, 
uh, 69% of was ends up in the TPA or final processing sites and just only 7% can be recycled. Hmm. What about biotechnology? What does it mean? How biotechnology role in waste management? Okay, let's see. Biotechnology means control use of part of microorganism to solve practical problems. Mm -hmm. Why can microorganism be used? Ah, uh, because they have the potential to pick and degrade some molecules uh, present in was. Uh, now, certain bacteria utilize or take toxic materials as their food. Uh, and convert them into effective compounds for the soil. Uh, that means uh, they utilize them as their food and break them and then the residues get mixed in the soil. Um, I'll give you an example. I think you have been heard a case about oil spills in the ocean like this. Mm, in this picture, you can see uh, oil spill around the ocean because of the leakage, the oil from the ship, or there is any accident between the ships. Uh, so that is a major concern in today's world because the oil spills uh, affect the aquatic life, uh, the organism living there. With biotechnology, many of bacteria. Uh, creeds in there also give by human so those bacteria can consume the oil uh, or toxic materials that spreads in the spills from isolation certain bacteria relatively have the ability to degrade significant oil mm, namely is marinobacter, oceanobacter, alcaniforax, stapia, talsospira Bacillus, Pseudomonas, and etc. In Indonesia, uh, Pseudomonas is usually known. This technique is called by bioremediation. The process before bacteria eating the oil, uh, bacteria produce surfactants. It is a type of enzyme uh, that can combine oil and water. Uh, after the oil and the water have combined, start the bacteria to eat the oil uh, and splitting uh, into small pieces and finally uh, the oil is converted into other harmless compounds mm, it is an example of the application of biotechnology in the radiation of marine debris uh, another example is uh, how bacteria can degrade the wash in soil or, or how bacteria can degrade the plastic uh, they have a uh, same technique uh, in how they eat the toxic compounds and change it into organic compounds. But it is hard to bacteria for decomposite if it uh, if the wash is still mixed with other compounds because enzyme is specific. Uh, mm, one type of bacteria can only decompose uh, the trash. Uh, for example, uh, the plastic degrading bacteria can only process plastic wash. Uh, meanwhile, the bacteria that can degrade organic wash can only process organic wash. Uh, therefore, we can make the wash management easier by sorting the wash uh, when we decompose, disposing it. In summary, we know biotechnology has an important role in environmental management. Mm, one example I gave was about uh, oil degrading bacteria in the water. Uh, bacteria feed on anorganic matter uh, that can damage the environment and turn it into harmless organic matter. It adds to my belief that regard has provided a solution in every problem on earth and just how we attempt to find it. Um, consequently, 
we as a human who live in art and as academic can play a role uh, in searching uh, more about biotechnology or small steps we can take is not too little mm, so today we have learned about what biotechnology is and how biotechnology application in environmental issue now we can take action about it uh, in the last i want to say that there is no another art so we have to take good care for the art for the good future for our children and grandchildren so that's enough for me thank you for your attention wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh bye bye